Welcome to Food Africa channel and I am Christophe Bongo. Today I am joined by Lufuno. Um, Lufuno last time was with us at the end of November. But before we continue with our conversation, we would like you to click and to subscribe. Because this is where you'll get all the best news, all the best conversation. And the Afcon is upon us. So here in Food Africa channel, we'll be bringing you watch along analysis and anything you want to know about African football. But today it is all about Mzanzi football and that we've got Lufuno. End of November, Lufuno, you were in the studio and uh, you gave us a prediction, an amazing prediction that nobody believed because you gave us prediction at the time when Keza Chief were doing so bad. Lufuno, welcome. Thank you, Chris. Are you happy to be here? I'm back. Where are you back? Why? We're football... Uh belongs i'm here where football belongs yes at the end of november Kaiser chief are going through a bad time yes um the coach just got fired interim coach coming in players disciplines issues but you took time to come here to tell us something which was amazing what lufuno told us is by december 30th five games that Kaiser chief will play out of the 15 point is giving them they'll collect 12. that sounded like a magic thing i did not believe it nobody believed it i think if we have a chance we might just find those clips and to show it but at the moment let's go at the end they managed to get those points what made you feel so confident for a team that had an interim coach had bad results but you believe that they will do that? Well, it's a good question, Chris. Uh, Kaiser Chiefs do have quality players. Uh, that's for one that um, I looked at based on uh, what they have compared to other teams in the PSL that they were going to play against. Wow. So they do have a decent team, a decent squad. Normally when you change a coach, uh, Chris, uh, the motivation uh, comes back. The coach normally tend to play a lot of players that uh, were not actually looked at. And and if you look closely, uh, the defense of Kaiser Chiefs did change. The goalkeeping department of Kaiser Chiefs did change. Um, From the interim coach to yes, the, the head coach. Yes, co the yeah. attacking midfield of Kaiser Chiefs changed. So there are a couple of positional changes that uh, the new coach made. But do you know that uh, those changes would happen or you were just predicting uh, well, by looking at opposition? Well, well, in general, and knowing football is that when a new coach comes, he tend to give a lot of players uh, that were not given a chance. And those players normally really, they, they really stand up most of the time and they perform. Even the, the current players that are playing, they really go out all out to, to really impress the coach so that they can play. Why, why those players were not given a chance? They not, what is the reason behind it? Well, Chris, every coach has got his own players and his own philosophy and how he wants his team to play. So it's, it's very difficult to to can have a, a proper reason as to why they were not playing mm -hmm. because every coach can prefer his own way of playing and his own style of play. So that's how it most of the time just to, is. Just to take people back, when you came, it was after a loss against Orlando Pirates, the double loss, a very painful one, one nil. Yes. And then uh, you came here, it was, I think, on the 24th because on the 26th, you were playing against Morocco Swallows. Mm -hmm. You beat Morocco Swallows one nil. In December, that was the last game of November. Yes. In December, your first game, it was against Polokwane City, 1-0. In that game, um, let me give you the starting 11 of Kezer Chief. You play with a three up front. Modi, uh, Shiva Viro, and uh, Sayel, they play both. They started the game. And the midfielder, you have Nobo, you have Muteto, you have Matt. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you're back for it to Zinklati. The player that you still believe is not good enough, Dove. <laughs> Mango and uh, Fosla and mm -hmm. the goalkeeping was changing that way you have Mavuma play, uh, Vuma playing for you mm -hmm. and you beat Polo Kwan City 1-0 your mm -hmm. next game it was against uh, uh, Riches Bay you look at the starting 11 once again uh, let's go through to see how the things you make one change Gonzalez comes in as a striker in the middle of the park you brought in Castillo who did miss the game before you leave everybody together, Robos, uh, Matt, and the Casillo. The back four did not change, including the goalkeeper. So, the first time we saw stability at Keza Chief, you won 1 0. 
the following game it was against Sebukuni, 1-1. In that game, you started with the same starting 11 and the back four, it was exactly the same. And then you went to a game against, um, oh yeah, that was your last game against Sebukuni, the 1-1. When you look at it, it seems like your interim coach went with stability. Or he went with the player that he trusted. What does it mean? Yeah. Um, I think initially when he changed uh, his back four was mainly that now Dove had to to move inside at uh, left centre back because the clock was injured. And then he brought Given back, uh, replacing Mwabo. Um then you have a, a, a partner there. And then uh, obviously the trusted Frost on the right. Clanty had to come back on the left. Uh, eventually the first game we won. And the, 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 the coach actually continues with the, with the winning team. You know, when you have a stability at the back, where you had a goalkeeper that have kept three clean sheets in a row, which is uh, Vuma. Is he the best goalkeeper at Kezeshev? Or he just had a good defense that moment? You know... The issue of goalkeeper, goalkeeper, it's 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 it's, it's very it's very deep. I don't think it's the best goalkeeper Chiefs. I don't. I Who's just, the best goalkeeper Chiefs? Currently, no. I think, I'm I, asking I, you. I think it's Peterson for me. Peterson. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He 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 is he is he made mistakes a lot, but he's he, he is one goalkeeper that you trust with gloves. If he, if if you look at uh, saves per game, he's he's got the more saves per game. Uh, in the PSL, about three point something saves per game, but that on its own tells you that the defense they overworking you. Yeah. So I listened to what you said. By the way, congratulations once again. And if you're a betting person, you could have made a lot of money because <laughs> you you are right on the point. <laughs> I'm looking at the table here. Yeah. We're in the mid season now. Yeah. Because we are halfway to go. Hundred percent. So forget everything that happened. Yes. When we look at the table as it's standing at the moment, yes. Where realistically you are seeing Kezachi finishing this season? Um, there there are many things that needs to happen for me to make that prediction. But I will tell you, if nothing changes, realistically, I think she will make top five. Uh, when you mean top five, from number two to yeah. number five. So they've got a chance. What is the meaning of being in top five except being in top, uh, being in MTN 8, which is a tournament only locally yes. recognized? Yes. I thought maybe you're going to say you will be in the calf position. Top five means that they, they can fight to be in the calf position. Um, realistically, you need to be in position uh, position three. Three. Yeah, to make a calf, calf. position. Alternatively, so you're not seeing Chiefs making calf position? If nothing changes. Okay. If they don't change in terms of, remember they've got an interim coach. What do we need? You need you need a permanent coach. Okay. You, you can take the interim coach. You just made him a coach. It's just a one decision. Well, then things change. Yeah. So you would like us to see Kaiser Chief having a full time coach. Yes. Good. That one. Are you happy with Kaiser Chief? Let's look at here. You considered um, twelve goals. Mm -hmm. And you score 16. Mm -hmm. Your last five games, you could not score two goals. Do you think as a chief I have a striking issue? Or do it's, you think as a chief I have a midfield issue? It, it, it's a very good question, Chris, because we bought two center forward. This is Ranga and Gonzalez. Those are two center forwards. We have seen them play. We have seen them. We play. know how they play. We know how we they know play. the result. Yeah. Now the question is to you: Do you think as a chief need to fix the situation to be on top three, to be in the calf position? Mm -hmm. Do you think they need to buy a goal scorer, or do they need a midfield who will supply them with goals? I think they need both. Okay. For me, I don't think Gonzalez is a Kaiser Chiefs type of a player. I've watched him enough to know and see. Explain to my child at home. What is a Kaiser Chiefs player? Well, 
Okay, let, a let case give, strike. Let, let me give you a let's say no, a case let me, of strike. Let me let me yeah, let me give you a typical example. Please. Um uh, and I will make it easy for you and everybody else to understand when I say it, what is a striker that needs to play for Kaiser Chiefs. Yes. And I'll make simple references. You look you look at Mbesuma, you look at Musona, um, you know, you look at you know a, a, a prime Bennett Parker. You look at. Um, let me not go back to. No, the, I, I can help you. But I'm trying to understand. To Bes- make it. Besuma had Bishon Shlongo making those runs. Yeah. Baka had a Christian Katsa, if I, 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 I pronounce his name yes. correctly. Yes. So you are not only buying a striker, you need somebody who does the houseware. But, but, but. So because you are but telling to, but, to, but to priests there. Sorry? Dupriz is there. Oh, so that is Dupriz. Oh, so you, Dupriz have, is there. you have those supporting strikers. Now they. you need somebody who is a finisher. But not only a finisher, Chris. If, I, if you look something that I show, I spoke about those guys. Uh, these are the strikers that can also make things happen. It's not only about tapings. They can also make things happen. They can be able to, to move the defense. They can be able to shake the defense. If you look closely, Chase, in fact, plays better. They can play better. off the ball. They can play off the ball. Chase plays better with Dupriz uh, rather than those two strikers that I mentioned, those center forward. Dupriz is a number nine. Who do you identify Chiefs should buy in January? Because we're in January. The windows are open. They're listening yes. to you. Yeah. Chiefs is listening to you. Yeah. January, who did you mark? Honestly, in the PSL, players that are available, that there's no way those 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 teams will let the players to come to Kaiser Chiefs. No, you, you are Kaiser Chiefs. You, you, there used to be a time when, when I arrived in this country, yes, and they're playing football. Yeah, there is no player, none, zero, including myself. Yeah, if you play football, you wanted to play for Kaiser Chiefs. It's true. It's true. Not to say that uh, I know you think I am lying. I'm not lying. Every single player I played with. Including, I'll give you one name, Lavas Mutan. I played with him. The idea was to go and play for Kaiser Chief. Yeah, well, Chris. I think so, which player did you earmark that Kaiser Chief can go and get? I'm not saying they will get him, but well, they can go and get. Well, the young Mayo. Okay. The young Mayo from Cape Town, uh, Cape Town City. Uh, you know, he's got those uh, qualities that I mentioned to you. He's a centre forward. But he really makes a lot of runs. He makes the defense to really work. And and having a, such a kind of a striker that also when he gets an opportunity, uh, he really punishes. So this is the boy you would tell Bobby to go and look at. Absolutely. He's young. Uh, he's brave. Uh, he's ambitious. Uh, he's also quick. So he's got a lot of qualities. He can play for Chiefs. Are you happy f- with Kaiser Chief at the moment? Are you back wearing your jersey? No, I do wear my jersey all the time. Uh, I do wear my jersey, and 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 I and I, when I was sitting here the other time, I was with Brian, and I said to him, my only wish for Kaiser Chiefs is to appoint uh, Coach Pito uh, now in January, <laughs> and then everything else will change. You know, I remember speaking with you yeah. after COVID. Yeah, you were so sure if you get Gavin Hunt. You will win the league. You, you remember that conversation? Yeah, well, yes, well, we did have a conversation, yes. But it sounds like Peter Musimani is the same thing. Well, they're not the same. Well, they're not the same coaches. They don't have the same approach. They know the same. They don't have, honestly, please. Yes, if, if it did I'm not, not taking away it, anything if from If it did Gavin. not work for, yeah. for Gavin Hunt, yeah. a reputable coach, winning the league in two different clubs, by the way, uh, that is an achievement even Pitch Musmane is not yet done. Yeah. What do you think him is going to work at Kaiser Chiefs? Well, Pitch has won the, 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 the league. <laughs> he has won the league <laughs> under huge pressure. Uh, you know, he, he went and, uh, and won Gav- the league and promoted a team in... Uh, Gav- Gavin uh, Hunt yes. has won. He is the only coach yeah. in those two names to have won the league. In two different clubs, in the two different circumstances, what is making you believe where he felt Peter will succeed? Well, let's look at Peter's success. 
<laughs> it's super sport. No, 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 no but I want to show you. We're not doubting. No, but I'm not, I'm not, not doubting, doubting him. Peter. I'm, I'm not doubting him. Yeah, yeah. But I'm showing you the similarities of where Kazachis is today and 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 the journey of Pito. <laughs> where he walks. So they, no, but listen they, to there is a there is a there is a point of conjunction there between this. somewhere somehow if you look closely. When he went to Super Sport, Super Sport was about to be relegated. Right. Where did Super Sport end or where it was when Pito left? Twice they finished run ups to the league. You they, keep, you keep they, forgetting that he had a blank check for him to choose which player he wanted. Well, who said, he, who said he can have a blank but check? It is January. January, you cannot have whatever no, but you want. But, but January, taking... January, you don't need a blank check. You don't need You need a coach that strategically can you know, remodel the team to fight again. A, There's 43 points to play for, Chris, now. I know. A plus is succeeding your thinking. A is the level you should be. B is just below. You did not get what you wanted. C is almost a failure. Where do you put Keza Chief in half of way, halfway? Halfway now. Yeah, where now? No, I think Chiefs have, have not done well. well no, no. I, I give me A, A plus A, B, C. Because I, we get, you can put them in D if you want to. No, I'll, I'll give them, I'll, I'll definitely give because them. Because they're in top 10? Ah, well, I'll give them a C. You give them a C? They haven't performed. Based on uh, my expectations. Based on your expectations. Yes. That, that uh, I mean, 16 games, you're not even at 30 points. For me, that is not good enough. Listen, that is the story of South African football. Yeah. We, we have only one team that managed to get to 30. Yeah. After 16 games. We're supposed to be talking everything local football, but when you have Lufuno, football stops with Keza Chief. What? You don't go away. Stay tuned because now Lufuno will talk about our beloved... Bafana Bafana.